Hi, this is Dave from DaveWooding.com. I'm going to show you how to build an affiliate database driven website. Uh, today's video shows you how to set up the database needed, or at least the configuration files needed for a MySQL database. First thing to do is log in to your cPanel account. Okay, thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, looks like I've logged in already. Uh, you want to find the MySQL database link. Click on it. Um, I already have some databases that I use, but I'm going to create a brand new one for this. Let us call it uh, Affiliate. Which I've already done before, it looks like. I'm going to create a database. Okay, that's done. Go back. I also need to create a user and a password for that user. So let's call it uh, AF is the username and garden for the password. Okay, that's done. Go back. And what we need to do next is assign the user F to the database I just created. So there's the user. And notice it prefaces it with my um, username for my account. That's something a lot of people forget when they're dealing with databases. What do I call it? Affiliate. So the user F is associated with the database affiliate going to add that user. Now go back one more time and right there. I'm going to copy this PHP code. So what I've done so far is I've created a database. I've added a user that has permissions to access that database. And now the next thing I'll do is create a configuration file. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in and let's clean it up a little bit. Uh, if I was to scroll across what it does, there's a connect statement, localhost. 99% of the time you don't need to change that. There's the username and it says to put the password here, which we know is garden. So if something goes wrong, it's going to die and spit out a message. It tells me I cannot connect to the database because and then whatever the MySQL error is. So this is going to be my configuration file. I've got to make it a PHP file right there and right there. And for clarity, I am going to change it a little bit so we have some variables in here. So the MySQL database equals, and it's right here. Let's get rid of the white space. MySQL user equals that guy, sort of. We called it AF. And the MySQL password equals, and I don't need this prefix portion for my password. Simply what I told it was garden. I'm going to replace a few things. So that is MySQL user goes right there. MySQL, MySQL password goes right there. And the database goes right here. So this configuration file, I've called it garden or config.php. Uh, specifies the database, user, password, it issues a connect statement, assigns the results to this, and then also uh, selects the database. And now what I want to do is uh, upload this config file to the right directory.
Okay, here I am in the garden subdirectory. I have a zip file that uh, I've also unzipped up to almost a 3 meg file. I'm going to FTP the config file into here. And that's all I'm going to do for now. So I've set up a database, given a username, password, create a configuration file, and why are you not going upload? So now I want to upload the config.php file into the garden subdirectory I have set up. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you. That's all. Uh, DaveWooding.com.